going on YouTube family? This is uh, Calvin Hill over here at musictomoney.com and I am going to show you how to rewire FL Studio 8 and Reason 4.0 and if you have both of those softwares you completely understand that they're both powerful and if you can combine both of those worlds you can produce some pretty incredible music. So in order to do that first thing you want to do is open up FL Studio click on channels and you want to open up a, a rewire I'm going to do that and once you open that rewire up it will look like this and in order to use reason inside of FL Studio you need to use it as a client so there's a drop down box here where that client is and just select reason as your client and to, in order to open reason up you just need to uh, click on show panel and you can see reason opening up there and you should get this error message which means that reason is picking up that your MIDI controller is being controlled by FL Studio and that's normal and it's okay so just click the OK button there's reason opened up I'm going to open uh, I mean put in a mixer and then I am going to open up a NN19 digital sampler and there it is I'm going to initialize patch and go in this folder. In my reason folder, I have some um, Roland Phantom keyboard sounds. So big up to all you Roland Phantom keyboard users. That's a sick board. I would have bought it, but I have the sound font, so it's all good. I'm gonna select the stereo brass. And that's uh that's pretty much a TI horn. So go back over here to FL Studio and um, if I play with my MIDI controller, you can see the keys moving, but you can't hear any sound. That's because we haven't opened up a MIDI out yet channel, and um, we haven't wired it up right. So if I click on MIDI options here, you'll see. Let me slide this over so you can see it. If I click on MIDI options, the first thing you want to do is you want to add the hardware interface. So just click add, and that'll, it should read import 0 to bus 6. Just click OK. But, but before you do that, this is important. Sometimes when you open this up, depending on what you have going on, this may show uh, that the NN19 or whatever it is you're using, Subtractor, Maelstrom, or, you know, the Thor, it may show that it's on channel 8. In this case, my NN19 is on channel 3. So just click OK. All right. And I need to open up a MIDI out. So go to channels and open a MIDI out and there it is and if I click on the MIDI keyboard it's still not giving me any sound and that's because remember in MIDI options uh, I told you to remember that that NN19 is on channel 3 so clicking on MIDI out it says channel 1 if I click channel 3 now I can play my MIDI board and you can get that uh, TI horn up in there All day every day and um, I actually did a track using this uh, these horns let me see if I can pull that up real quick yep all right you get enough, enough of that you get the gist of uh, what's going on there but uh, that's it if you want to add uh, additional sounds from out of reason just continue to add more MIDI out channels make sure that you select them um, so that they're wired right as a matter of fact let me just go here for those that just want to see it again I'm gonna add in here um, I don't know let's just add Thor the poly poly uh, Thor or whatever and uh, go back over here to FL studio add another channel a MIDI out channel and if I click on this reason and click on MIDI options there it is the Thor is on channel 4 so that means that MIDI out needs to be on 4 and now I play the MIDI board I'm triggering the Thor sounds now so that's what you need to do um, combine both of those uh, software and you can make some incredible incredible music and uh, that's it this is Calvin Hill signing out make sure you uh, visit over musictomoney.com and I'm out peace